Welcome! In this video I will show you how to derive the Dirac Hamiltonian starting from the Lagrangian. Now this is something that we are going to need because we are about to start quantizing the Dirac field, finally going from classical field theory to quantum field theory, and since we already know the Lagrangian, the best way to go to the Hamiltonian, which is how we like to quantize things, um, is to do this. So I wrote down here the Lag the Lagrangian for the Dirac Hamiltonian, uh, sorry, the Lagrangian for the Dirac field, which we already know, and I wrote it down in two different ways, once using Feynman slash notation and once not using it, right? Whenever you have something slash, it simply means gamma mu multiplying that thing. And keep in mind, psi bar is simply psi dagger gamma zero. It's very important that you know that. So how do we go from the Lagrangian to the Hamiltonian? Well, we apply this little Legendre transformation. What we have to do is find our canonical momenta, multiply them by qi dot, right? In this case, they're going to be psi and psi bar dot, of course. And then we have to subtract by the Lagrangian. I don't know where it had gone, but there it is. In this case, of course, we are working with the Lagrangian density, so we're going to get the Hamiltonian density in the end. To get the actual Hamiltonian, you have to integrate over all of space. Good. Having said that, but keep in mind, we can find the canonical momenta by taking the Lagrangian density and taking the derivative with respect to the, co the coordinate dot, right? In this case, it's going to be psi dot or psi bar dot, depending on what, uh, which one we're finding. So let's begin. So we got pi psi, let's say, this would be the derivative of the Lagrangian with density with respect to psi dot. Now keep in mind, psi dot is simply d0 psi, right? So let's now plug in what the Lagrangian is. So we take the derivative with respect to d0 psi of, and now let's expand this, right? So this would be psi bar i gamma zero del zero plus i gamma dot the spatial derivatives. And then of course we got this mi uh, minus m and psi. Okay, so now if we're taking the derivative with respect to the time derivative, the only one present is here, right? When, when we multiply or we let it work on psi, this and this is going to be zero. So for that reason, the only contribution is from the first term. So we got that our pi psi is going to be psi bar, which is psi dagger gamma zero times i gamma zero. Now we can put the i in front and what is gamma zero times gamma zero? That is simply the unit, the unit matrix. So that's simply going to be psi dagger, right? So that is the first case. Now for the case of psi, uh, sorry, pi psi bar dot, well, we need to take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to psi bar dot, but there is no psi bar dot anywhere in our Lagrangian. So that's simply zero. Good. Now we can plug this into our Hamiltonian, or rather the, the formula for the Hamiltonian density that we have for now. So this would be, right, we have to sum over the conjugate momentum multiplied by the qi dots. So that would be pi psi times psi dot plus pi psi bar dot psi bar dot minus the Lagrangian. Let's go. That's the Lagrangian. We can also write it down like this. And I like to have it opened up because we need to work with it now. So that would be minus psi bar, which again is simply psi dagger gamma zero. And then we have i gamma zero del zero plus i the dot product between these two, minus m psi. Okay, now let's plug in what pi psi is. Let's keep in mind that this thing is zero. So we have i psi dagger psi dot minus, and now let's multiply through here. So we got minus psi dagger, 
with an i in front, right, this one, gamma 0 squared, which is 1, so we end up with psi dot, right, this acting on this. Then we got minus psi dagger gamma 0, an i in front, this one, gamma dot the spatial derivatives, and then finally we got plus psi dagger gamma 0 m psi. So what do we got here? We have that these two will cancel out, so our Hamiltonian in the end here is going to be minus, and actually let's uh, perhaps first factor out this, so psi dagger, and then we got minus i gamma 0, and then we got this gamma dot the spatial derivatives, plus, oh, I just noticed I forgot to write down the psi there, apologies. All right, and then we got uh, gamma 0, m, and we can now factor out the psi to the other side. And in principle, there we go, but there is something else we can do. It is customary to define alpha as gamma 0, I guess we're defining it, gamma 0, gamma, and then beta, this is going to be gamma 0. So with these definitions, we can rewrite this, and in fact, we are now going to get back the Dirac Hamiltonian that you may have found for a single particle, but of course, now we are going to be applying it uh, to a classical field, which is about to become a quantum field. So this would be psi dagger minus i alpha times the special derivatives uh, plus beta m psi. And there we go. It was a relatively simple derivation. So I hope that this video was useful to you, right? In the next video, we are actually going to start quantizing the Dirac field, and that's going to be quite a lengthy calculation, but I know that it's going to be worth it. So I hope to see you there. And again, if you enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like on the video, comment and subscribe, and maybe even consider checking out my Patreon. The links are in the description. I also have a Discord server where you can join. We are trying to build a community of people who want to learn physics and teach each other and support each other from around the world. So if you want to do that, check the link out in the description. I'm streaming on Twitch, so go check that out as well. And if you want to see me cover a particular topic or make a video about something, maybe go to my Ablebees and either start or support a petition. That's a great way to encourage me to make videos that you want to see and also support my channel in a different way. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video.